Well, it, it was, you know, the course we played was very difficult, and we're about to play another one that's very hard. And it's two tour courses. And the guys played pretty well in our first event. We made some mistakes, but it was minor stuff that I, I think they've cleaned up. And we're going to see how we play when we go to Ohio State. A little bit stronger field up there. Get to see some mid-major, I mean, some Midwest teams, Purdue, um, Ohio State. Kent State, some teams that if we can if we can clip them, we may not see them the rest of the year. And that'd be very good for us, and it would help, you know, throughout the year with the rankings. I know one of the messages to your team in the off season was, let's not let what happened over the last month of the year last year happen again this year to get right. yourself into an at-large spot for a regional. Uh, <clears throat> message received so far? Yeah, I think so. They they took themselves pretty serious about it. Went home, played a ton this summer, and. <laughs> You know, they, they went out and won tournaments this summer, played U.S. Amateur. There was there was just good stuff for, for all the guys coming back. And they we got off to a better start this year. Last year we finished next to last in our first event. This year they started out fourth and, and they had a chance to finish second and just didn't complete the final round. But, you know, it's a lot of good things. We just got to take day by day and see if we can continue to improve. Uh, you've got some, some key guys that are going to be in your lineup every week, but you also mm -hmm. have some options and some flexibility. How nice is that? It's nice to have a deep team. Um, you know, if a guy's not particularly playing well, then he, he won't be traveling. Um, years past, we've, we've sometimes had to travel people that weren't hitting as good, but now we've got, we've got guys staying at home that can flat play. And that, as a coach, makes you feel really good. And, you know, it puts some pressure on the guys that travel. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing to have pressure on yourself. Because if you want to play at this level and continue on, you need to be able to accept pressure and go with it. Not to single one guy out, but, but Jared Betcher, you know, coming mm -hmm. off his outstanding freshman year last year, didn't miss a beat that first no. time. No, he didn't. Um, you know, he, he played really well, finishing third at Kiowa. You know, I feel like that he could have, he, he, you know, he could have caught Chase Kopka, who was an extremely good player last year, to, to win the event. But, you know, you just got to make a few more birdies. But he played really, really well on a tough golf course. And, you know, it's exciting to see that for him. And, and uh, you know, him leading us was good. And hopefully he can continue to pace himself and the rest of the guys will, will get in there. I know they, they, don't, they don't like getting beat, and, and it's good. They're all out there trying to, trying to get, get an individual win. What's the, what's the main message, what's the one message going into the, to this tournament? This week? We've got to drive the ball well. We, we've got to put the ball in the fairway at this golf course. It's They just had the, the web.com there, and it's a pretty difficult driving golf course. But, you know, the guys have spent two weeks working on it, and we'll see. If we keep the ball in the fairway, we'll have an opportunity to, to play pretty well up there. Uh, you know, we had a really good start to the first tournament. And, uh, I mean, it, it's exciting to start out of the gate fast. Uh, we're last year. Um, you know, we started out a little slow and then came on in the middle of the season. So um, we're excited. All the seniors are, are ready to go and uh, hopefully, hopefully keep the momentum up. I know one of the things Coach is, is talking about you know, is learning from, from what happened at the end of the year last year, mm -hmm. you know, where you're close to a regional and, and then you kind of struggle a little bit on the last two tournaments. As players, what do you take from, from what happened last year to make sure it doesn't happen again this year? Yeah, I mean, you know, the way, the way I look at it is uh, our strategy is to try to win every tournament and to give every shot our best. And uh, if we do that, it, it should take care of itself. Uh, last year, we just we didn't play the way we, we knew we could down the, down the finish. So um, this year, we want to start strong and finish strong. You played in your second U.S. Amateur this summer. Mm -hmm. That's, talk about that experience and, and, and just first how neat it was and then, you know, what, the, what you can use from that, you know, playing, playing this year? Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, it's just an honor. I mean, it's something that's so prestigious and, uh, I mean, just so much golf history. And, uh, you know, those two days, you probably learn more about your golf game in those two days than you would in several weeks of practice. I mean, you just, you, you know, the USGA exposes everything that you need to know, and it gives you so much momentum going into the, to the year because you, you're playing against the 300 best players in the world and uh, competing against them. So uh, it was a really cool experience, and uh, I was very humbled by it. You guys have a, have a team this year where, you know, the lineup could be, could be different every time you guys go out. You right. guys are that deep. How does that motivate you as a player to make sure that you're in that five that goes to every tournament? Oh, it, it's definitely uh, motivating. Everybody's pushing you. Um, somebody's back home wanting to get on the van, and, I mean, that's a good problem to have. Uh, so, you know, basically all you can do is go out and do your best at every event. You know, you don't have, you don't have any room to uh, not give it 100% and because, uh, like you said, there's somebody's, somebody back home that could take your place. So that's exciting. You guys got off to a good start as a team and individually last week. Just talk about where you're at right now. I mean, we played well in the first tournament, but we're just looking to improve this year. I mean, started off 
I mean, we're in a position where we can definitely get up there in the rankings, start playing well. I mean, we didn't have our – it wasn't our best tournament. I mean, we all had some room to improve, but we can definitely – we're getting there. I mean, we're making it. You guys were, were so close as a team last year to, to getting out of that large spot. Uh, what do you take from, from what happened at the end of the year last year to, to make sure it doesn't happen this year? I mean, we just got to make sure that we know – where we want to be. I mean, we want to, we're shooting for even higher than making it to regionals this year. We're shooting to be in the match play at nationals. I mean, I guess ma not making it last year just fired us all up to make us want to be in the match play. I mean, that's what we're shooting for. Regionals doesn't even matter. We're shooting for a higher level. What's the biggest thing you learned last year that you can help to make you better this year? Mm, I would just stay patient. I mean, we all have the game to play really well. I mean, we just got to trust our game, basically. Just not get angry, frustrated or angry if we start doing bad. That we have, I mean, we have so many guys that can always get our back if we have a bad round going. I mean, just stay patient and just try to, I don't know, just work through your round, make the best of it.